Okay. Now let's see this question. This question came in gate 2014 for two marks. The question is, suppose a stack implementation supports the instruction reverse, which reverses the order of elements on the stack in, in addition to push and pop instruction. So in a standard stack, obviously push and pop operations are there. Apart from push and pop operation, they are saying that another operation reverse exists, which basically reverses the elements on the stack and with respect to this new special stack which they have defined in this question they are talking about which one of the following statements is true and in these statements they are talking about queue see a queue cannot be implemented a queue can be implemented so basically they are talking about the implementation of queue with respect to these three operations in the modified special stack which they are talking about so, so for now, let's forget about the options. Let's talk about how can we or cannot, we cannot implement a queue using this stack. Can we do it or not? Firstly, let's see that. So let's say we are talking about four elements, one, two, three, four, and queue is something like this that, okay, first in, first out. So whichever comes first, uh, whichever is in queued first, that should be dequeued first. So that should be taken out first that is the definition of nq and there is a definition of q now we have to see that with respect to this modified q how can we implement that so let's take a particular uh, case something like this so let's say this is the stack and let's say one two three they are there already there so this is the front and this is the end okay this is the front this is the end and now if this has to be Q, then using these three operations, we should be able to implement the NQ and DQ operations. Can we or can we not do it? Let's see. So in order to NQ, so one, two, three are, is already there. Let's say that if we do NQ, then four should be inserted in this order at the end. That should, that should be the definition of NQ. So this is a stack. So if we simply push 4 then if we are simply going to push 4 that is we are going to do simply the push operation then we are going to see that okay now end is this and the the definition of q is still satisfied so this is at the end okay what about dq if we have to dq then basically we have to remove 1 but if we simply pop then we are going to remove 4 we don't want that so in so what can we do using push pop and reverse this reverse is in fact given for that only if we somehow make use of this reverse operation in order to successfully dq dq the required element and the element to be dequeued at this place this point of time is going to be 1 because that is the element which is inserted first okay so if in order to dq 1 we can actually reverse reverse the stack because it is allowed it is a special instruction which is given if we reverse then we are going to get something like uh, uh, 4 3 2 1 this is going to be the structure of stack and after that if we pop then this will be popped this will be removed and we will get this correct element 1 and then we will reverse again if we reverse again then we are going to get 2 3 4 so if we see between these two so we can see that with respect to dq definitely the dq operation is correctly implemented see 1 2 3 4 was there and what is the definition of dq that the element whichever is inserted first that is the which is at the front that should be removed so 1 is removed and 2 3 4 still exists so we have successfully implemented the nq and dq operations but nq operation takes just one instruction but dq operation basically takes three instructions reverse and then pop and then reverse these three instructions are going to be taken okay this is correct but is there any other way in which the uh, nq operation can be in queue data structure can be successfully implemented okay so actually there is another way see 
if the stack is not something like this if the stack is something like this if the stack is something like this where the topmost element here was 3 when we have put 1 to 3 what if the topmost element is not 3 rather 1 so if 1 2 3 here the topmost element is 1 but still in this order 1 2 3 4 this was the queue so still this is the front this is the queue this is the sorry end now if this is the front this is the end then now our target is to in in queue operation we have to insert 4 and in dq operation we have to remove 1 and that we have to implement let's start so in order to in queue we should insert 4 but if we right now insert 4 then 4 will be here and that will violate the condition because the front should be 1 but and end should be 4 but right now if we insert 4 then 4 will be in front so that is the violation so what we are going to do we are going to do the same trick what we did for dq in this type so in this case if we if we again make use of a reverse operation then the structure of stack will be something like it will be reversed so it will be 3 2 1 okay sorry 3 2 1 and then after that we are going to insert so it will be push operation if we push then 4 will be inserted and then again we are going to reverse if we again reverse then now the stack will be something like 1 2 3 4 and now if you compare this state with this state then you can clearly see that this is this was the front this was the end the front is still 1 but the end is now not 3 rather 4 so this is the new front this is the front uh, earlier one this is the new end so we can clearly see that we have successfully implemented in queue operation and what about dq operation dq operation is now very simple which uh, as in earlier case nq was very simple here dq is very simple we simply have to pop if we simply pop then the first element which is at the front is going to be popped out and that should be only popped out because that is the first element which is uh, which is inserted in the queue and new front will be this f so dq can be su successfully implemented in this uh, style using just one instruction pop so we see that if we implement q data structure using this method then nq takes one operation and dq takes three operation and in this style of implementation the nq operation takes three instructions and dq simply takes one instruction okay now let's come back to the options the first option is a queue cannot be implemented using this stack this is clearly wrong we have seen in fact two ways in which a queue can be implemented what about the second option the second option is a queue can be implemented where nq takes a single instruction and dq takes a sequence of two instructions okay so they have said that nq takes one instruction which is correct in this case and dq takes a sequence of two instructions that is that is wrong actually if here it would have been three then it would have been correct because dq three operations and nq one operation that there is definitely a way like this right so this also is wrong now they are saying in third option a queue can be implemented where nq takes a sequence of three instructions see and dq takes a sing single instruction that is in fact correct this is correct now in the fourth option and last option they are saying a, a queue can be implemented when both nq and dq takes a single instruction each that is obviously wrong we cannot do that so only one statement is correct which is expected the option c is correct so the answer is see